Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. This is my Bull Armory TAC 4 and a quarter 2011. Beautiful handgun. I've owned it for approximately a year now. Love it. It's got a four and a quarter inch bull barrel. Excellent grip texturing. 18 round magazines. Double stack, nine millimeter. It's the Rage. A direct mount. Here I have a Howlson 507C on there, slide cuts. Love the way this performs at the range. Just outstanding. I couldn't be happier with it. And then after that, I got the Bull Armory Axe FS Hatchet. It's a full-size 9mm. It mimics the Glock 17, but the trigger action, the, the way this thing functions is just, in my opinion, superior in many ways. It also has a direct mount, which is pretty darn nice. Sits low on the pistol. Love the way this shoots. Love the grip texturing. Love the way it handles. Extremely accurate. Once again, couldn't be happier. But what I'm going to show you today, I think, is the king of the hill. And it's in this case here. Of course, it's a bull armory. That's what we're talking about today. But what I'm going to show you actually is replacing the TAC 4 and a quarter. This is the most popular handgun that Bull Armory produces. People tell me all the time, I am on wait lists. I want that. Hard to find. Well, there's a new one out there. It's similar. It comes in this case, but we are talking about the Bull Armory EDC. It's different. Has some similar qualities, but it is different, so we're going to talk about it. But right away, I want to show you this. Now, these are 2011s, 18 round magazines, which is one more than the standard 2011 magazine. In this case, with the EDC, Bull Armory's giving you three magazines. One, one I have in the pistol, two here. And then they have this bag of accessories, a patch, some stickers, a cleaning kit. A manual, everything else, and this very nice range bag, and they include that, and I'm certainly appreciative of that. But what makes the EDC different? Well, first off, let me just say, the 18 round mags is different in and of itself. They were able to squeeze one more round in there compared to Staccato and many others. And it's just always a bonus with more magazine capacity. Can we just acknowledge that? This is unloaded. It has the same slide cuts right there, but the... Uh, Slide serrations are a bit wider and a bit different than the TAC four and a quarter. Is that a game changer? Not so much, but you'll notice here how the barrel is flush. It's also a bull barrel with a, it's a crowned bull barrel right there that sits flush. And that bull barrel helps keep the recoil to a minimum. And I think that is phenomenal i mentioned the three magazines but the optic ready is what they really keyed in on with this and of course this is optic ready but this is cut to fit at rmr i also have a Howlson 507c on here but the way they did this is phenomenal they offer three plates it has the Howlson K series okay rms footprint it has the delta point pro and the rmr Footprints, and if you don't want any of those, here is a cover plate. You just throw that on there, and you don't have to worry about it. If you're one of those guys that say, I don't want anything to do with optics, then there you go, you have that available. They also blacked out many of the parts, so it's a it's a it's a little more let's say less flash compared to all the silver that you're seeing on here with the grip safety and the beaver tail. Even some of the screws have been blacked out a bit. Kind of cool, same trigger cut. I think that is cool and I love this trigger. I'm telling you, at the range it just is so fine. I'm measuring this under three pounds. Can you believe that? People say too light of a trigger is not great for carry. Other people say, give me the lighter one because I'm I know I'm going to be on target because all you have to do is you just align that and 
you just put some pressure and squeeze that trigger a bit and it fires and it what I have found, the light of the trigger, in many cases, accuracy just follows that. And I do like that trigger, the way it's cut. I think it looks cool. It has a Picatinny rail there. This is an aluminum frame. Okay, PVD coated slide, aluminum frame, and... The grip texturing all throughout here is polymer and it is very fine. Ambidextrous thumb safety. Many of the same features. It has a flared mag well here. You can really make quick mag changes with that. But also it is removable and in the case that I didn't quite show you. But if you remove it, it they offer a shorter pin for... The mainspring housing to put on there to keep everything intact while removing the magazine well. I took it to the range. There's a closer look at the slide serrations, the difference. And then you'll notice that the front sight with the tack four and a quarter is serrated black and they went with a green or yellow fiber optic front sight. It's, it works, it's, it's awesome. You'll also notice with the tack four and a quarter, they printed that on there, okay? And then they, they engraved it in the slide with the EDC, if we could see that. They both shoot incredibly well. So in, in terms of shooting, I don't have, I, I can't say, hey, this one is like way better. I can't say that. But I will say for EDC purposes, this is a better choice. And I think that's why it has the name EDC. Aluminum frame keeps the weight down. And this is a priority one holster that fits like a glove. Also fits the TAC 4 and a quarter, fits the EDC perfect. And I think this holster is phenomenal. Just a, such a fine fit in there. I keep my holster just a little bit looser than most people. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Love the way they did that optic system. Not only do they have choices, but the, the optic plate secures in there in a way that it won't shift around any which way. It has a lug in there. You'll notice right on that slide serration that 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 piece right there that kicks out a bit, keeps everything nice and stable. Very nice job. It's called the BAO Optic System, and I love it. I, I love the adaptability. Anytime you offer more uh, options, it's always a good thing. The trigger action is fine. It's a 2011. What is? The MSRP. Well, the TAC four and a quarter was seventeen hundred and sixty dollars, and that's a steal. Honestly, you compare that with Staccato, it's not even close. But this is ninety bucks more. Well, they offer another mag. They offer the BAO optic plates. They offer a fiber optic front sight, and they offer essentially a phenomenal pistol that offers everything that people want in a 2011 everything i want in a 2011 with a four and a quarter inch barrel that is flush fitting see that it's flush fitting is that going to make a major difference no but makes the overall length a little bit shorter but there it is the bull armory edc i love it just as much as i love the tech four and a quarter and it's actually replacing it it's replacing the tack four and a quarter how about that and i really do love this axe hatchet i think it's phenomenal and this edc just lives up to every expectation i ever had from bull armory if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe